Nothing about this content is changing, just getting added to. I'm changing beeped up text name back to regular beeped up, bringing all content back together under one roof. So all the different topics that I want to cover will all be uploaded here, but only on specific days for specific categories, including Samsung and Apple videos. Those will always be on Saturday with the exception of announcement and launch dates. The full schedule is in the description. I recently discovered pitch meetings from Screen Rant, and I got super, super inspired. I'm like, wait, you know what? What if I did this in an anti-Apple kind of way? So this is me trying that on. But I wanted to give credit where credit was due. Hey, so hey, you've got a new phone feature idea for me. Yes, sir, I do. Actually, it's the removal of a feature. Oh, wow, doesn't that seem like a step in the wrong direction? Yeah, everybody at the office thought so too, but I still think it's a great idea. You think removing a feature from a phone that's already known for its lockdown operating system and lack of customizability even by those who swear by the phones themselves is a great idea? Most definitely. Oh yeah, why is that? I don't know. Perfect, so what are we taking out of our phones now? The headphone jack. Oh my god, is it causing problems? Nope. Is it shortening battery life? Mm-mm. Are people asking for it to get removed? Absolutely not. People seem to be fine with it. In fact, according to our research, they even kind of like it and use it all the time. Seems like this decision could stir up a lot of controversy. It absolutely will, but they'll get over it in about two months. What if people stop buying the phones? They won't. How do you know? Because. Well, okay then, but won't people be mad you took away something that they've used for years with no explanation whatsoever? Oh, we will have an explanation. Oh, good, you had me really worried there for a second. What's the explanation? We're gonna tell people we had to be really brave to to degrade their user experience so drastically that if they bought our new phone, they'd have to give us extra money if they want their old headphones to work. Extra money is what our core philosophy is built on. Now you're getting it. People are still gonna be mad though. Oh, of course. That's why we included our own special pair of headphones you can't use in any other device except ours. Ah, uh, proprietary restrictions are pimping. They certainly are. So how are the headphones going to connect to the phone if there's no headphone jack? They're gonna plug into the charging port, you big silly. They're gonna cover up the charging port? That's right, but then you can't charge the phone while listening to music at the same time. Correct among but the prestige of owning an Apple product costs more than just your money, you know. But did our engineering team think of people not being able to charge their phone and listen to music at the same time? We did. Oh, cool. What did you come up with? Oh, we figured we'd give the phone wireless charging capability. Oh, yeah. Samsung's had that for a while now, right? They have indeed. Anyways, that's our solution. So technically, you can't say that the phone can't charge and listen to music at the same time while the headphones are plugged in. But if people have to keep their phone in one specific spot while it's charging, isn't that a little inconvenient? We're just going to look past that part. But what if you're driving and want to listen to music in your car doesn't have Bluetooth or a wireless charger. So I'm gonna need you to get these questions completely outside of your mind. Oh, okay. Besides, if customers are buying our products, they should be prepared and capable of simply getting a new car that agrees with our design strategy. Very prestige. That's what we're going for. Why couldn't you just give them some Bluetooth headphones in the box with the phone since you're taking away a major feature and outmoding tens of thousands of pre-existing headphones? Because that would cost us extra money. And besides, we're going to release something else for that later on down the line and make even more money. Right, what was I thinking? But wouldn't we just be able to charge them even more money if we gave them Bluetooth headphones in the box and then said the free headphones were included so it would soften the blow? Yeah, so why don't we do it that way? Well, because Samsung is going to release their version before us. Like they always do. Like they always do. And we're going to see if there's anything we can poach off of their earbuds before we actually release our own. Fashionably late is kind of our thing. That's right, and we found a couple things like what they're calling ambient mode. Ooh, what's that? Well, they programmed the buds to use the microphones on the part that isn't in your ear to pick up sounds around you and play that over the bud speakers so you can better hear what's going on when you have them in. Impressive. Very thoughtful of the customer's need. Let's not put that in ours. It would mess up the flow of things. Yeah, we're really going for less convenience and not as user-friendly. Making our own ambient mode would just throw a monkey wrench into that whole design plan. We don't want monkey wrenches. Nope, nope, nope. So what do you think of the idea? Well, I think it'll make our customers bend over backwards for us just to pay to use our phones, and we love watching them do that, so let's pull the trigger on this one. Good evening. My name is Taylor. This is Beamed Up, and I hope you enjoyed that little conversation. And if you like it, tell me. Tell me. Also, I found this weird red button laying around. Go ahead and poke that and just let me know what it does. I, I don't know what it's for.